Folks, welcome to the heartland, Bloomington, Indiana, and the home of the Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium, where Lee Corso used to patrol the sidelines, is awake and ready for this game today. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash, a conference that now stretches the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one. As we'll see, the Michigan Wolverines taking on the 12th ranked team, the Indiana Hoosiers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Wolverines will kick this deep to get us going. Fields it just outside the goal line. And the returner will be brought down. So Indiana's offense begins backed up here thanks to that poor return. And here comes that star wide receiver, certainly one of the focal points of the offense, one of the best in college football. He has that kind of, yeah, I'm him aura. I'm the best player on the field. The field? But this guy crawled out of the bed, thought he was the best. He's confident, but he carries it as a guide for his team. It gives them confidence because they know that when he's great, they have a chance to win every game. Getting set. Here's second down. The back's got it. Stopped short of the 25, but it's enough to move the sticks. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. It's a solid run. Gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. Looks right for a quick completion. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. Here's the second down play. Looking to pass. It's Rourke. Short pass finds the tight end. He goes down right there, but it's enough for a fresh set of downs for this offense. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down looking to set up a screen pass here and bring him down but the back able to pick up some decent yardage in that screen well they're lucky they completed this pass at all the quarterback in fact gets hit as he throws the ball now listen we know the linemen are going to allow the defense to come in but that time they allowed him to get in there a little bit too fast and lucky the quarterback was able to see it and get rid of it from the shotgun now here's a handoff inside and he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Hoosiers lining up here on first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. He's hit as he throws it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Here's a screen pass to the running back. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screenplay. It's a solid game for a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. And I think in the process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Here comes a handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. 
If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Receiver makes the grab. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. I thought the defense was in pretty good position there. They sat back and had good coverage, eyes on the quarterback, but you almost got to just give the quarterback and the receiver credit for being able to come up with that completion. Impressive opening drive. The 10th play coming up. It's third down. Looking downfield. It's Rourke. Trying to get the throw off. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. Yeah, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Wolverines offense out there for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught in the backfield. It's Morris. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Now they put that nickel defense, and I think that's the right call. You get more speed to be able to cover with those five defensive backs. It also allows that defensive line with that good coverage to get after the quarterback, as we see here. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. And the ball is away from his own end zone. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They love to stretch the lead here with a touchdown. Had to settle for three last time. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. A game makes it second and medium. Dropping back, it's Rourke. Quick throw to his receiver. Makes the catch downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Whew, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. This line getting set up, it's a first down play. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. 
And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. On first and ten, looking to throw. Caught near the goal line. And he will score. Touchdown, Indiana. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point gives them a double-digit lead. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Caught over the middle. It's Morris. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, They've been efficient within that passing game, being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. To throw, it's Orgy. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. And the play is good enough for a first down. They'll move the ball to the 44. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. See what the call is on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He's running out of time here. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. down now after the sack quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver fires it to the wideout and is intercepted they get him down after a short return but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 43 what a great job here by the safety to anticipate where the quarterback was going to go with the football. That gave him enough time to be able to get over and break on the football in time for the interception. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Caught behind the line. It's Price. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Boy, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Takes the handoff, and he'll head left. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. So Kirk, Indiana has the lead here. Solid performance so far, creating some separation. Here's the first quarter stats. Crucial stage of the game as we begin the second quarter. Is this one going to get out of hand? How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Looking downfield, it's Rourke. Makes the catch. Can he get in? 
And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers. Sam Bam Cunningham, Bo Jackson. That's a play that legendary running backs have made. Man, let's not forget Herschel Walker. Yeah, it's right. You're thinking of old school running backs. It's very rare to see backs go up and over at the goal line. It's refreshing. Nice to see. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the PAT stretches the lead to 17-0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Gets it to the 25-yard line. And that's where they start the drive. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down play coming up for this offense. Now they're running on the toss. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. They'll try to run for the first down. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain, getting closer to midfield now. Just a great play by the running back here, finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the Wolverines starting a new series here on first and ten. Looking for some space. It's Edwards. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Again, makes it second and medium. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Let's it go quickly. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. The Wolverines pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Second down after that previous play. To throw, it's Orgy. Looking for his big tight end. He's got it near the end zone. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. So a positive play, Kirk, with the crossing route. This is the defensive communication the coaches were worried about in this game. Yeah, it really is a challenge in this call. When the offense goes with that deep crosser, that defense has to do a good job of communicating, really keeping their head on a swivel to understand who's coming into their zone. That time they just lost the receiver and they gave up a big game. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. 
A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. Coming up, second down and goal. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. A much-needed squirker trying to just hang in this game right now. Man, I love that they're not giving up. They are continuing to fight and try to get themselves back into this game. Now the all-important extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And they'll run it with the draw play. They continue to feed the running back, but he has had nowhere to go today. They've been getting owned at the line of scrimmage. What a job by this defense. Completely sniffed out the draw play here. I think they saw it from the time the huddle broke. Absolutely stuffed that play for no gain. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Running back has it on the screen now. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down, and now it's fourth down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. And the Hoosiers will line up to boot it away. And the offense will punt for the first time this afternoon. With the return, it's Morgan. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments. And, and he'll loft it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Well, of course, you know about the receivers, those vertical shots, but here's an example. You give the ball to the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. QB decides to keep it here. 
He tried to use the stiff arm there, but the defense corrals him quickly. Uh, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Looking to pass, it's Rourke. Quick completion to the tight end. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. We've reached the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. The Hoosiers getting set on first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back to screen pass complete to the running back. And the tackle is made. Not the big play they were looking for, but a pretty solid game. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. That completion makes it second and short. And he'll set up to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Horton. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. From the shotgun, drops back. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that. Spot the ball at the 22. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. Looking to throw again. Caught over the middle. It's cross. Tackle made after the completion. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Important second down play coming up. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's Rourke. Let's it fly to the wide out. Touchdown, Indiana. This air attack is still unstoppable. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They'll return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Backed up this close to their end zone in the final minute. Let's say they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. That's caught. It's Edwards. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Now it's second down here. And he drops back in the gun. Looking for the wide out. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. I think he predetermined where to go with his football. Really didn't give himself a chance to work through his progressions. Locked into his primary. Tried to force it in there. It doesn't work out. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Here's a wide-open receiver complete. 
Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Linebackers trying to confuse this offense now. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And he scores. Touchdown, Wolverines. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Planning up to try the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Bringing it out, it's Williams. To be tackled at the 21, that's good work by the coverage team. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved them right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field, somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. The minute's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Bloomington. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. And the Hoosiers will kick this deep to begin the second half. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. And they get the second half started with their running play. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a shotgun run call. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A handoff from the shotgun. Makes a nice move there. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Well, the offense looks fired up to begin the second half. That's the kind of play they've needed to give them a spark. Absolutely. I know they're down in this game. Clearly something was said at halftime to try to get this offensive line engaged, and it looks like it's working. They're playing with a different kind of energy. Let's see if they can do it again. Fires it to the wideout. Looks downfield and connects with a wide-open wide receiver. Finally brought down, but this is a big play. Moves the ball down to the 21. 
Well, Chris, you watch a completion like that and with the efficiency, it makes you kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had in 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history. And it's good that they're leaning on it. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Stop for no gain. Defense very stubborn here down near the goal line. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Defense getting very heavy here. Looking to stuff the run. And off inside. Looking for the touchdown. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Boy, Chris, the way this quarterback's been playing, I'm surprised they didn't throw the football here. I wouldn't be surprised now that they're facing third down and goal. Put it in his hands and let him work his magic. Got the ball down to the three-yard line, but now it's third and goal. To the air, it's Orgy. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field, and that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. Field goal try, no good. He missed it. A missed chance to tie this game. Still down by three. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least. Three points, but instead, he shanks it. offense is back out there on the field first down here for this offense look at out throwing here to start the drive the pass rush closing in oh and it's incomplete what an opportunity for a desperately needed takeaway couldn't quite come up with it So, second down after the incompletion. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. You know, in that era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Defense is coming after him. He makes the grab. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looks left and finds his target there. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Offense getting set. It's second down. And here's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Bringing pressure. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. 
Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. The Hoosiers will line up to kick it away when he comes for his second punt of the game. Bringing it back, it's Morgan. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. The offense now operating in empty. Back to throw. It's Orgy. Short throw complete to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. A physical tackle there. Big versus big. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. That completion sets up a third down play. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Breaks loose at the 45. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down third down I think the defense is really expecting the ball to go through the air instead the offense keeps it on the ground gives it to one of the more skilled players and he gets the yards he needs move the sticks the Wolverines begin a new series here first and ten we'll give it to the running back they stop him after a six yard game so second and four well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Again, makes it second and medium. Offense looking to throw the ball. Graham down the middle. It's Loveland. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Well, the defense loads up to show blitz, and anytime they bring that kind of pressure, the quarterback knows he's got to be able to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Nice job of locating the tight end for that first down. And the Wolverines looking to keep this drive rolling. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Well, the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. And notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved catching passes. That's tough to stop. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Here's a quick throw off the play fake. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Interesting call here, Chris, with this screen pass in the fourth quarter late in the game. I think they're expecting the defense to get upfield on the pass rush. They give the defense all the credit. Recognizing it, almost really anticipating that this screen was coming, and then rallying to the ball. To throw, it's Orgy. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Just missed his intended receiver on that third and short. The offense is now going to have to settle for three points here in such a close game in the fourth quarter. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And he's got it from 49 yards out. What a powerful kick. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board.
So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that run on the previous play. The shotgun handoff here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Dropping back. It's war. Running out of time in the pocket. Can't find anybody on third down. Throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. Man, the quarterback here just threw this football away on third and short. Starting to wonder about this running game right now. If on third and short, you decide to throw for it, Maybe they're looking to give the defense a new look or maybe keep them guessing. Let's see what they do here on fourth down. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. The returner is brought down. Gets a starter on the next drive. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They settled for a field goal in the last possession. They're looking for the end zone, no doubt, here. They'll hand it off. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. A game makes it second and medium. Runner takes the toss and moves to his right. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And it's a punch formation. And he'll drop back here on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. The Wolverines will have first and ten here. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second and inches, but it sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Come to the line for second down and very short now. Offense will keep it on the ground here. They stop him, but it's a first down. Hey, it's not a lot, but it's enough to get the first down. The Wolverines moving quickly down the field here. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Getting set. Here's second down. Oh, it's a reverse. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. You know, we're seeing this more and more where wide receivers are getting involved in the running game, both here in college and also up in the NFL. I think it's due to plays like this one right here, and it's not going to change anytime soon. Excellent play call. First down and 10 now. 
There's the handoff. They get him down, but that's a solid gain. Here's the second down play. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And he's run out after a big gain. The offense will be set up with a first down and goal. That's nice execution to pick up the first down. A little curl rod, Kirk, against the zone. Yeah, when you play zone coverage like this, it's very difficult to defend this route if the quarterback does a nice job of reading the coverage. I thought he used his eyes there to be able to move the defense where he wanted them, created an opening in that defense, and then he made a great throw for that first down. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Well, the defense is locked in on this running back, and for good reason. He's already scored a couple touchdowns. If I'm the offensive coordinator, give it to him one more time. Let him make it a hat trick. Here comes some more big bodies out for the defense. They'll try to run it with the option. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Urgency here. Got to cut it this lead. It's third down and goal. Back to pass. It's Orgy. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure worked. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down and distance. Do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And this one is right through. Well, you talk about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder. The kicker gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it inside the five-yard line. They'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Grab down the middle. It's Horton. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second and manageable here for this offense. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. The short completion of the tight end. Brought down, but crosses midfield to the 46. And this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And we've reached now the two-minute warning. Sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. First and ten now for the offense. Scanning the field. It's work. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This guy's been such a big factor in this game. Already a couple touchdowns. Now they need the first down. They dial him up again, and he delivers. And the Hoosiers have first and ten here. Looking to throw it again. Quick catch over the middle. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to it. The Hoosiers trying to cash in here in the red zone. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. 
tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Horse and goal. Can the offense punch it in and claim the lead here in the fourth quarter? Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line. The offense threatening here. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. He's got it right near the end zone. Brought down at the two after the catch. The offense close to punching it in. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. And they cut into this lead now on third and goal. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not hang on for a touchdown. My goodness. Well, Chris, this is it. It comes down to this fourth down play to be able to stay in this football game. They've got to convert to be able to keep their hopes alive. Can this quarterback deliver and make the play? So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. This one is right through. And that will tie it. Looks like we're headed for overtime. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. away with three points on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away and here's the return from inside the five and the coverage team gets the returner to the ground and the Wolverines offense is back on the field how do you play this now do you call a conservative play and just wait for overtime or try to make something happen and win in a regulation caught over the middle it's Bell and a timeout is called late in this tie game. Crucial choices coming up. Here's a first and ten play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. And the offense calls time now with 29 seconds remaining. Second down play coming up for this offense. Dropping back. It's Orgy. He'll take a deep shot here. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Michigan. They have jumped in front in the final minute. Chris, I thought we might be headed to overtime here, but this offense would not be denied. Outstanding execution, and they take the lead. Now it's all about can their defense hold on to see if they can get this win. Here's the point after attempt. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. So after the late score, they'll kick it off and hope the defense can hold up to reserve this lead. Fielded in the end zone. It's Williams. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. He's got some room and some blockers here. Touchdown, Wolverines. Wow, what a play, a defensive score. And the interception taken to the house, a pick six potential game-changing play there. Man, nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A two touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turn starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw. It's Rourke. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. The tackle is made. The clock runs out. And that will do it.